This is a black stone. And this is a black stone. <laughs> Here's the true definition of a KVK1 Kraken. This guy reached 100 million power in couple of weeks after creating his account, and even though we still have almost 30 days until our KVK1 is finished, he already managed to get half billion kill points. So today in the first part of the video, we are gonna take a look at his account, commanders, equipment, etc. And in the second part of the video, he will answer some of our questions, including how much money he spent in the game so far. So without further ado, let's go. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> Alright people, let's have a general look at his account. Of course, tier 5 unlocked, kill 5 million units, increase power to 100 million. I mean, this is why he is the true definition of a Kraken. And the final one is wardrobe upgrade. <laughs> Own 8 pieces of legendary equipment already in like nearly 100 days or so. That is crazy. More info. So we already know that he has 400 million plus kill points. He has 120 million power. And the funny thing is, it's not the dead, it's not the defeat or victory. This guy gathered <laughs> less than 1 billion resources, but his resource assistant is nearly 5 billion. And remember, the account is not even 100 days old. Let's quickly take a look at his commander view. I mean, this is going to be a little bit like, there will be spoilers, of course. But still, Drillmaster Richard, as you can see, he is expertise, troop attack 1%, troop health on Minamoto, again, expertise. Rally Captain Thutmose. I think he's running a Thutmose and YSG rally, which is insanely strong in my opinion. And then we have Expertise Charles Motel, Constable, Troop Health 1%, Troop Defense 1%. This is insane. As expected, of course, his civilization is Ottoman Empire. If you're a high spender in Rise of Kingdoms, Ottoman Empire is going to be amazing for you because not only it gives him Archer Health 5%, which is so important for him because he is launching Archer rallies, it also gives universal troop march speed by 5%, meaning that your cavalry and your infantry also benefit from this, and most importantly, increased skill damage by 5%. Again, this is also universal. So Ottoman Empire is a great civilization overall, especially if you're a high spender or a kraken like Blackstone, definitely go with the Ottoman. Now let's take a quick look inside of his account. He has <laughs> plus 2 million tier 5 units from each troop type and he has that one tier 4 cavalry but my recommendation is have one tier 1 cavalry so that he is faster because lower the tier of your troop the faster their movement speed is i suggest you to have one tier 1 cavalry units for grabbing runes and other things and on the left we can see his most powerful commanders richard level 6 to expertise minamoto and charles again level 6 to expertise Flat, of course, she is level 60, but not expertise because it just takes time. It doesn't matter how much money you spend in the game. Of course, the more you spend, the stronger you get. You are going to complete expedition faster and you will start accumulating sculptures for Flat faster. But still, it's going to take a while. Thutmose expertise, which is massive for archer rallies because he also has a YSG, again, expertise. But when you take his power into account, none of these should be surprising. Maybe Thutmose and Charles Mattel because they are the gold key commanders. But <laughs> the thing here is a level 50 marks woman. So long story short, this guy has almost every single relevant KVK1 commander expertise i think the only thing that is missing here might be an expertise Kao Kao to pair with minamoto but his other marches are just so strong it doesn't really matter he can just pair minamoto with an expertise babers and if we take a look at his equipment of course his epics are already almost all of them are special talented he does have a legendary bow for archers and that is special talented as well which is insane and he does have the chest piece the milky way this is definitely not an equipment that i recommend for you guys to craft but he's a high spender, I mean, not even a high spender, he is a freaking Kraken. So he doesn't really care that much about the materials and blueprints that he spent. So it's really not that important when he get the blueprint for chess piece, he will probably just craft it anyways. And this is the equipment that he has on Charles Mattel. Again, four legendary pieces with Eternal Knight Special Talented. Incredibly strong equipment for KVK1. This is the set that he uses for Minamoto. Again, two epics, both Special Talented. Two pieces from the cavalry set, helm and chess piece, that is great. And of course, he has Navar's Control and Ash of the Dawn. And I'm surprised that he doesn't have any special talents on his cavalry equipment. And finally, this is what he uses on Richard I. And even though he does have two legendaries in here as well, compared to what he has on Charles Mattel, this is a lot weaker. But for 99% of the people, this is a very strong equipment to have on KVK1. And of course, he is VIP 18, max level. And I bet that he also has 
a lot of extra VIP points in his inventory. When VIP 19 is released, he will probably reach it instantly. As you can see on the top left on this screenshot, he has 100 million power and consecutive login days is 76. But these screenshots are a few weeks old. So now he has 120 million and I think login days is around 100. Right, I totally forgot that I also has a screenshot of his inventory. As you can see, he has a ton of extra VIP points and gem tokens as well. Insane amount of resources, this guy can get pretty much any Zenith of Power skin that he wants with the number of resources. And on the next screenshot, you will see number of speed ups. If you only take a look at his training speed ups, it is actually not that much. However, if we move on to the next screenshot, which includes universal speed ups, you will see that he has a lot of it. And remember, these screenshots are old. Now he has 20 plus million extra power. So he probably max purchased the shop a few more times meaning he now should have a lot more speed ups. And before we move on to the Q&A section, here's a report he sent me recently on our KVK1 fighting. Now the first question that I asked him, when did you start playing Rise of Kingdoms? Is this your first account? He said, I've been playing casually on and off for the past two years, took a decent break when my son was born and congratulations Blackstone. The second question was, how did you decide to become a Kraken? He said, honestly, like most accounts I have multiple tier 5s, I don't go in wanting to spend or trying to, it just ends up happening gradually. I guess at some point he gets bored and starts spending to speed up his process. My third question was, which day you unlock tier 5? And he did it in less than 30 days, right around 21 days into this account. Then I asked him, how does it feel to be a Kraken? Do you get a lot of messages? He said, honestly, nothing really changed too much with my account, as in the power wise. Now it's mostly focusing on building troops, conserving speed ups and items for crafting. Of course, when you reach max building and max research, the game kind of slows down. The only thing that you can do is getting ready for the next big thing and try to train as many troops as you can. As for messages, yeah, a lot of messages about migrating and also people wanting me to migrate in. I mean, obviously that was expected. What is your ultimate goal with the account? Ultimate goal is kind of open because come KVK3 with people who migrate back and etc i realized the power shift will happen because i don't have the gear to compete with 1000 plus day old accounts but personally i'm trying to stack up as many kps as i can and truly be a menace in the field unfortunately that's the case in rise of kingdoms no matter how big of a kraken you are very old accounts can migrate back to kvk2 with full legendary gear and expertise kvk2 commanders and they can definitely put up a fight against high spenders because there is also no crystal technology and the final question I asked him, do you know how much you spent so far or on average? And he said, I was maxing the store very frequently at least two weeks in total. And then I've been buying geared up every day and other old purchases. So probably 55 to $57,000. To me, this is crazy. And that answer was like a month ago. I wonder how much he spent in total now. And I honestly expecting something like 20 to 25,000 at max. But reading that 50,000 plus dollars definitely blew my mind. Let me know what you guys think. Blackstone, thank you so much for sending me screenshots and of course answering my questions so that I can make this video. I see you guys in the next video. I hope you liked it. Goodbye.